Hey, Long Riders, and welcome back to Carl Ties. In this video, Carl is going to teach you how to tie a Griffith snack. So, without any further wait, hey, but make sure you still subscribe to our channel. Make sure you check out the, all the links befo below this video so that you can, like, buy stuff and help our channel out. So check all the links. There's a Cabela's link down there for the store. You can buy anything in the store we make out. There's Amazon links down there. You can buy anything from Amazon we make out. So without any further ado, let's get to the vice. Take it away, Carl. Hey, welcome everybody. I'm going to try this. Uh, Donald Russell from Everything Fly Fishing had asked me to make a video uh, on a Griffiths net. I'm going to try this. Uh, I've only made one other video in the past and uh, I'm going to give it a try. I've already made up a, a test run and uh, it seems to be coming out all right. Anyways, this is my test fly that I had made up earlier here, and I like it. Uh, it did come out uh, fairly decent. Uh, can't wait to actually get out here on the water and try it, but uh, here in New York, Waters are still running a little rough. Anyways, let's see if you can see this. I don't know as if you can or not. Um, trying to focus in on this, but uh, it doesn't seem to want to focus. Anyways, there it is. I hope you can see it all well enough. Anyways, let me give you the rundown of what and how to go about tying a Griffith's net. Now, I had followed a recipe from Jim Missouri, and uh, I liked the way that it came out. Anyways, what I'm going to do here Let's get started. I'm going to start off by getting myself a number 14. Hook, nymph hook. And I am going to place it in my vise but only after I debarb the hook. Please, everybody, please debarb the hook. Not only will it save you, but it helps save the fish. That is, if I can get my fingers to operate here, I'm going to debarb this hook. There we go. And place this right into your vise. Lock it down. And I'm using Danville's 7 0 thread. 7 0. 7 0. And I'm going to start my thread about an eye hook 
away from the front of the hook. And here we go. I'm going to tie this all the way down just to the bend of the hook. Cut off all your excess here. There we go. Then I am going to get two pieces of peacock curl. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Feather. There. We'll just uh, call it that. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take and I'm going to... I'm, I use Sally Hansen's. I'm going to add a little bit of that Sally Hansen's right on the top of that, whoops, right on the top of that thread that I had already put down. That helps bond the peacock curl. This trout do have some sharp teeth and they will bite right through it. But anyways, I'm going to tie that right in. Wind that all the way up to just about where you started the thread, and then wind it right back down. Lay that off on the side. Then I'm going to take my feather and I'm going to pull the barbs down a little bit. down and give it a haircut you want a little bit of the barbs to stick out there so when you tie it on it won't go all over the place Tie this in. Tie it close to me. Right back up to where you started it. Lay that back. Now I'm going to start winding my peacock curl on around. Take your time at this. This peacock curl can be very fragile. I'm going to want to wind this around until I get up there to where the thread is. Where it started. As you can see, getting away from me. Not an issue, I'll just take the one hurl. Wrap it right on around, match it up again.
Point it right up to where you started your thread. Tie that off. Wrap it over a couple of times. Pull it back, go in front of it, wrap it a couple of times there. And then cut off your peacock curl. Save that excess because that can make another fly easily. Long length of peacock curl can easily make three or four flies. Depends on the size of hook you're using. Now, I'm going to wrap my feather around, around it. Start there at the tail. Or at the back of the fly. And make one good solid wrap around the base. Right there at the end of the fly. And then wide loops out towards the front of the eye. And there you go. Out towards the front, wrap off, tie it off, go over your feather a couple of times. Pull it back. Make your head. <coughs> Come in here with your scissors and chop off the excess feather. Set that off on the side. Grab your whip finish tool. Okay, oh, I know I have my wet finish tool right here, right handy, there it is. Whip finish it off. There it goes. your excess thread. And then I use this five second fix. Put a little bead right on it. tool here. Let's run around. Seal it up. And there we go. That's it. That's all there is to a fly. A gnat fly. Griffith's net. Mount Austin. There you go. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my fly tying lesson here. Like I said, this is the first one I've done. Enjoy. And please subscribe to Everything Fly Fishing. Have a good day. I hope you liked that video which is really good. Um, Carl did a good job. It's his first video he ever made. So we can sit back and watch the um, improvements Carl makes his tying videos. Every video gets better because every time practice makes perfect, every video gets better. I like this one for his first video. It was better than my first video. Way better than my first video. So thank you Carl. I look forward to many more videos with you from you. You all have a nice day. Keep your lines wet. Out of trees, only give them fish a sore lip. Check out other videos. And subscribe.
you too could be making videos with us like Carl.